A website is actually a combination of individual web pages linked together. Depending on the nature of the website you'll be building, it, a it usually requires different sets of web pages. In this screencast, we're going to talk about kinds of different individual pages a website will need. So how do you come up with the pages? Okay. You can look at the following. First, you can start from the basic pages. For example, home page, about page, contact us page, term of use, and privacy policy are a great set of pages that you uh, usually need on your website. Okay, then. Uh, Based on the kind of site you are building, think about what's more important to the user. Okay, not only do you make the, that linkable page, you create a very visible link list for those pages. And this is often called the site's main navigation. Okay. Then there are times when users require to go through a process in the website. So all of these pages need to be thought out as well. Uh, for example, you would need uh, a checkout process, and those require uh, all sorts of different individual pages linked together to uh, complete the entire process, like sign up, like login, or like a contact page. Okay. So these are all procedural based pages. Okay. Then you can obviously extend off of each individual page. For example, about, about page, you can extend uh, additional sub pages for it. Or term of, term of use, you can have sub pages for it. Okay. And that would be extending off existing pages. Okay. So how do you draw out page connections? You can either use a paper and a pen to draw uh, lines connecting each page, okay? Or you can use something like Gliffy.com or Microsoft Visio. Okay, these are all diagramming softwares. Uh, Gliffy.com is actually an online uh, diagramming website that allows you to draw uh, diagrams, okay, flow charts. And what I usually do is I draw lines between the pages uh, to represent links, okay? And let me just show you a few examples that I made from Gliffy.com. This is a basic page, okay? You have a home page and they can be linked to some basic pages like About Us, Contact Us, Term of Use, Privacy Policy, and FAQ. Okay. Then you have, a, I have an example here for YouTube's main navigation. Home page is their default navigation. Then uh, they have Videos tab, Channels tab, Community tab, and also in the top section the header section has a search function, okay, and then also this yellow button for you to upload your video. Okay, these are important to YouTube. Okay, so they have made these their important links and made them the main navigation list. Okay, then these are some uh, examples of procedural pages. For example, from the U home page, you can click on user login. Then it takes you to a login page. After user submits it, uh, you have another page in the back background processing that login to check if the username and the password is correct. And then after it passes, it'll be it'll redirect user to the user's main page right so you see these are arrows going one way and 
this is a procedural type pages. And you can look at this contact us page, you process user submission, then you bring up a, a thank you page for the user to look at. Okay. And then you have uh, inner links page. Okay. And if I took FAQ page for example. You can click on inner links that displays categories. Then within categories, you can show individual page after you click on a certain category, right? Or you can uh, click on the search button, and it'll take you to a search page. When you uh, submit that search, it brings up a list of search results. And then within that search result, you can click into individual results. Okay, And of course, you can use uh, just simply paper and pen to draw this diagram out. Okay. So how detailed should I be? Um, it depends on the nature and complexity of your site. Okay. Uh, more complex, uh, the more detail that you should draw it, obviously. And it also depends on the number of people working on your site. A lot of times uh, when I'm planning sites for myself, I tend to think in my in my mind uh, a lot of the diagrams. I don't have to draw it out because I have it memorized in my head and I, I'm not sharing it with anybody so uh, I don't do that detail of a drawing when I'm working by myself. But if you're working with two or more people then uh, communication is key. Okay. And when should I create page contents? Uh, sooner the better, that's what I say. Uh, if you already know what web page you'll need, uh, it'll be it won't be too hard to come up with uh, page contents. Okay, and uh, this is usually the last part site creators think about, but it's actually better to try to draft up something now and revise it later than to have only one draft later or have site launch delayed because content wasn't prepared. Okay, So uh, that's it for um, pages I will need. Thank you.